Hey, hey, it's the Narrative Nerd here, and I'm back with another video. I'm so sorry, I look like a corpse today. I have no idea why that's a thing, but yeah. There you go. I'm corpse. Yeah. Ugh. So, today is a little bit different. Um, I will be doing a, a video. Um, it has been requested. I cannot remember the name of the, the lovely person that requested this video. I'm so sorry. I will provide a, a little link um down below um but they requested that i i give a little um talk on resin matching um so yeah today is all about resin matching um they asked basically how i do it myself um so that's what i will be talking about at the moment um and the only thing i can really say about it is do research like when i first started doing hybriding um I was like obsessively checking Den of Angels, I messaged people on Facebook to see if they had dolls from the same companies and stuff. Um, yeah, and then they were all really helpful, really, really helpful. Um, yeah, so I think I'll start with Kaito. So Kaito was my very first hybrid. I'm so sorry I'm a bit um, clunky with the words and things, by the way. I haven't done this for a while. I've been... Um, Bit busy with other things life and whatnot so it's gonna take me a little while to get back into this um kaito's looking over there i think he's like it's like looking at the sun he's like i must burn my retinas out for no reason whatsoever <sighs> so yeah kaito was my first hybrid um i originally got him with his body from mystic kids um i got him in normal pink skin um but he was too tall um and too kind of like proportioned like an older teen um and part of his story if you've watched the previous video about rigor mortis is that he's canonically short so i decided that i wanted to hybrid him and um i got a practice head from doll family h which had um which i also got in normal pink and when he or that head turned up he was pretty much an exact match for uh mystic kid with milo so i already knew going into it that doll family h had a pinkish skinned tone that would match kaito um I, I guess that was kind of lucky if you don't have that sort of luck uh, which i normally don't then like i said if you just go onto den of angels or um facebook groups or anything like that if you just ask if you have the companies in mind and you know what skin tones they are then people normally come back really really quickly i can tell you that doll family h and i think doll family a as well they actually do a resin matching service so um if you've got a particular color that's hard to match like a certain tan you can send off a sample like a, a head cap um and if, well, if you're willing in this you know postal climate and they can actually do a, an exact resin match for you otherwise it is a bit of guesswork um so yeah so as you can see kaito's match is pretty darn close he's not exact but that really doesn't bother me i thought it would but it really doesn't yeah so he was my first hybrid um i also then was gonna hybrid lie off um i've nowhere to put this poor lovely um he was going to be an immortality of soul but i could only get the head so i knew i was going to have to do some hybriding for that and i did loads of research but nobody was well i don't think i actually got a reply to that particular query on what resin best matched um ios aside from i think there was an old post that said the old switch bodies tend to match the old uh, ios skin tone do check back on the older posts as well because sometimes your question has already been asked um yes anyway let me tell you about the ones that i know about it might actually save you some time and energy so um the next one i've got is this guy and for some reason his hair is an absolute mess i'm gonna have to do it again i'm so sorry kayla bless you it's because he's been in a box because my mom's been around there we go so um yeah this guy was actually an unplanned hybrid and they probably will happen as well um he is uh, an april story raven this big on a 
Dolmore Theo Song of the Night body. And technically speaking, the resin match is not great. Like, can you see on camera? No, you really can't. It's not picking it up properly. I don't know if you can see it in the light. But it's not awful, you know? It's really not awful. Technically, I think the neck is a little bit small as well for him. And I was, I've been obsessed with like neck circumferences and things and getting that correct. But again, I don't think it's the end of the world if it's slightly smaller. There are like modifications and things you can do for that. Sorry, that's me tangenting anyway. So yeah, um, I actually put his head on this body because this head was always Caleb. Um, and I wasn't quite sure what to do when I got the Dolmore Theo Song of the Night body because I was also intending Theo to be Caleb. But it just turned out that this guy was already Caleb. And then when I put this head on this body, I freaking fell in love with it. It's really not perfect, but it has the proportions that I want and it's close enough that it's it's okay, you know? Um, yeah. So I would say... I would actually say that most light coloured resins, unless you want an exact match, are probably going to be pretty good. I mean, technically this guy's white skin and this is normal skin. You know, I could probably pop him on any of these bodies. I think, I think my um, Zephyr, my Dream of Doll Co Code 2, I think he's normal skin, but I could probably put this head on that body as well and he's older as well so you know yellowing and things you just i think you're gonna have to make a, a bit of a decision based on the pictures that you see of things as well if you're buying second hand buying new you probably have a better chance of matching if that's what you're going for you know so yeah um just try it like i did not buy this body with this hybrid in mind and when i tried it i was like oh wow that's an electric moment right there this is happening forever you know, unless I sort of go off and sell everybody, which is never going to happen. So, yeah. So, that was that one. So, as far as I know, Dolmore, Normal Skin, and uh, April Story White Skin is pretty similar. Uh, oh. So, this guy, oh, Hayden. I don't know if you've actually been introduced to him yet properly. Um, he was originally, um, my doll family A Max, who I was so super excited about, and then when he got here, I looked at him and he wasn't actually Hayden, it turned out that this guy's face was Hayden, like, oh my god. So this is the Dolmore Theo Hedge, and I really did fall in love with him on the pictures on, uh, Den of Angels, you know. I was really, really worried about selling him off when I still loved him so much. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try a thing. And then the thing happened to be the thing, you know? So again, you've got your Doll Theo normal skin tone. And this is the Doll Family A pink skin tone. And as you can see, again, the resin match is not 100%, but it's pretty darn close. You know? Especially when you look straight on. I mean, like normal skin tones they tend to match well um yeah it, it doesn't bother me that there is a slight difference at all it really doesn't i thought again i thought it would for me with this guy it was all about the neck size the neck size on his original body was much thicker but that made him look kind of beefy to me and i wanted him to be more gangly because he's like um he's supposed to be sort of at the cusp of turning 18 so yeah his shirt is not behaving um so yeah, try the hybrids. Most light colours work together. Um, proportions are really important. There is a tutorial actually, I should try and find the link for that as well, on the three steps of hybriding. Um, and I think, although resin tone is up there, it's like number three on the things that you want to match. You actually want to pay more attention to neck circumference and something else that I've totally forgotten because I'm amazing like that. So yeah, um, and then of course there's Lyoff, who is my, I've actually got oof, an iOS body. I am sweating like a pig, guys. <laughs> TMI, am I right? Here we go. So this is Lyoff. This, there we go. 
Come on, Resin Soul, you can do this. Another very unexpected high bridge. I've like stolen all his stuff at the moment. So here we have a white skin, um, the legend attempts Roderick on a normal skin, um, iOS, uh, blah, 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 blah. he's the 65 centimeter one. I can't remember it. That's style 70 or something. Or is that Medjidol? I, I can't remember. Anyway, the point is he's immortality of souls body. And this is a white head. Again, the resin match is not great, but the proportions are beautiful. You see, like, <laughs> there, I mean, look at that. It's just glorious, actually glorious. Like, it's just great. I love it. I actually love it. Um, actually, the resin match not working quite well in terms of colours. It is also um, hidden rather well with hair and, like, eyes and the other details. I mean, the fact that he's a legend attempts as well is pretty distracting. So, yeah, and for me as well, it's it's to do with hand proportions in this particular instance because this guy's got massive hands, massive hands and massive feet. He's a really solid body. I love the immortality of soul body. I kind of want like eight more of them. Um, so yeah, I mean like when I'm doing pictures, like, cause I mean, there's gonna be a lot of this sort of thing, you know, when I do pictures properly, it's just gonna look incredible because he's got these huge hands. I love it, especially cause he's like, he's got a really complicated sort of backstory in terms of like, what's going on in his life and blah 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 so yeah i just white skin normal skin it really doesn't make an awful lot of difference unless you know for a fact that white skinned dolls from a certain company are like really ghost like um the normal skin girl that i got from resin soul she was like super pale so i would avoid hybriding her with other normal skin tones i think that sort of thing you know so i would say from from the one resin soul do doll that I own, if you're thinking about resin soul, which is a re they're really good hybrids um, hybrid choices. If you have a white skin head, you'd be really good at getting the normal skin tone body, that sort of thing. So yeah, those are my current hybrids, and that is my experience with it. Um, if you have something in mind, I would say go for it. Nine times out of ten, unless you are super picky, it will work really well um check out next size as priority one i would say in terms of and how it relates to head circumference etc because you are i think for me for me those are the proportional things or the things that really matter in terms of the aesthetic of the character um and there was something else i was going to say as well but i had completely forgotten it as i was about to say it i think i need a holiday or something yeah um if you have any questions at all i will do my very best to answer i will try and provide all the links that i just said below which i've again totally forgotten i'm amazing but yes i really hope that this garbled mess has been helpful in some way <laughs> oh dear all right if you enjoy this content or you would like to request a video or whatever, then please hit the like and subscribe button. I do update every Wednesday for the moment. Um, yeah, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.